Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to test the routing concept. So we'll move a little bit further. Up to now, we have learned about this uh, firing the events from the template and getting the calling the methods from the post uh, from the component instance and all those things we have seen, right? Now let's try to deal, deal with the routing concept. Now, if you try to see here, we are having uh, one thing that is nothing but post component and we are having another one is the post component. So this is a single post component and this is a post component dot yes. Let's try to create another component which has the routing parameters. That is nothing but what I can say is so post detail. So I am creating here the post detail. Let's try to create. So I am creating component and for that component, we will write, write, write the test cases related to the routing thing. For example, let's say that we are having this post detail and this is the constructor. We have a something like route activated route. So which will be called through the method. So for example, let's say if you go to the app routing module.ts and here we are having the routes, right? So for example, somebody, if somebody opens something like, let's say that some, something has, we have a uh, path uh, details slash ID. So we need to open the component uh, that is nothing but post detail component. Okay. So if we have something like another one, I am doing something like this slash post. If you have some posts means, so we will open the post component, right? So we have two components and here we are having another one, something like detail slash ID. Somebody opens the detail slash ID. So we need to get the, we need to, we need to open the post detail component. But here, if we try to see the detail slash ID means, so it is taking a routing parameter ID. So let's try to do this one. So if I go here for catching that route, we need to have the activated route. So another one is I will be taking private post service. So this is nothing but the post service. I will have this post service. Now activated route. Let's include this activated route. That's it, right? So I will include another one that is nothing but private location of type location. So this should be included from the angular common. So that's it. So now on ng on init, what I will try to do is, so I will call a method this dot get post. So this get get post is a method. So now what it will try to do is, it will try to take the ID from the activated route. So this dot, um, what is that one? Route dot, I am taking the snapshot, snapshot dot paramap dot get of so ID, I will catch this ID and if ID is present, then I will call the post service dot get post. So with the ID, so we need to pass the number. So I'm doing like this dot subscribe. So whenever we got the post, so I will store that in the post variable. Sorry, this dot post is equal to post. That's it. So it's a simple thing. But here this dot post we haven't declared it right. So what I will try to do post of type post. That's it. Yeah. Now, so we got the post. Now what I will try to do is we got the post. Let's go to the post detail that component HTML. And here I will have do element in a such a way. And here I will try to do ng if, if post is present, I will try to show the post details that is nothing but post dot title and another one is a post dot body so here i will try to have another one is to update the post i will provide a provision for the for the user to update the post details also so here i will give one label so it will take the title and here i will try to add input type is equal to text and i will use the ng model so ng model oh sorry So ng model and here we are having right so it should be post dot title and in the same scenario i will take this entire label and i will add it here another one is the body it will take the post dot body okay now here ng model we are getting an error way because we didn't import the forms module let's import this forms module also so i am importing the forms module that's it i hope this one will solve the problem yeah, it's gone. Now what I will do is I will create two buttons. So button, if the user wants to go back, he can click on the go back. 
so you can go to the post details and here if, if he wants to save update the post so he can update the post also now click here sorry click here save button save button and here go back means i will do the same click okay so here it will be go back that's it these are the two methods let's try to implement these two methods also now what i have did here in this template i am taking that if the post data is present i am displaying the post title and the post body and here i have created a small forms in such a way that two input boxes as they uh, are there which will highlight the title and the body respectively and when the user clicks on the save button i will save those post i will update this post details with that particular post and go back means he can go back to the previous post component so now let's go to this post detail and here we need to have two but two methods to be implemented and another one is the save button save is nothing but the update only here what i can do here i will write this dot location dot back so i can use this one so from where the user has came it will go back to that place here in the save what i can do is so this dot post service dot i i need to use the update post but the update post is not implemented in the post service now what i can do is let's go to the post service there is this post service now we need to have yeah here we are having post service and i will copy this and i will copy this delete post and i update here and i will update this one to i will change it to update post now here i will do put request so when i put the request when i change it so we need to send the post data also that's it update post is done the method is done now here what i will try to do is so whenever the user update post dot subscribe we need to send the post right so that is nothing but this dot post dot subscribe sorry dot subscribe and here we will not take anything and after after successful we will move the user to the back to the place where he has came so this is the thing what we have written now we we need to implement the routing uh, test cases for this one so what are the things what we have implemented we have created a new component post detail component why we have created post detail component is from the main post dashboard so whenever the user clicks on the particular post it will redirect to the details slash id and here what we have did is so we are we are ca we are catching that id using the activated route snapshot dot paramap and we are getting the details of that particular post and we are highlight highlighting the details in this template so this is template title body post title post body and we are having two buttons so that is but go back and the save button and the implementation for this go back and save button is go back it simply goes back to the uh, previous page and here save means it will update that particular post the whatever the user update that updates the details in the input boxes we will take those details and we will update that one in this one and we will do this go back thing okay so this is a simple component we have created now we will try to write the test cases for this one now here the dependencies for this component is nothing but first one is the activated route second one is the post service and third one is the location so now we need to have, we need to resolve these dependencies for this one we need to mark the dependencies for this component and we need to write this details let's try to see this implementation in the next video hope you understood about this implementation of the post detail component so why i have designed this component is so i can i can already directly do this one uh, create the component i can show the test cases but you need to understand it right what i have did it that is the reason i have implemented the, i have i have shown the implementation also hope you understood about this one and if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you